Hi again, everyone. My name is Nas, Environmental Educator for the Cape Leopard Trust. Today we will be discussing the diet of the leopard found in the Western Cape. Leopards in different parts of the world have different diets, depending on what prey species are available within a specific area. This is even true within the borders of South Africa. When comparing, for example, the biodiversity of the savannah biome in the northern parts of our country and the Cape Fangles biome in the south. Leopards are generalist species, which means they are opportunistic feeders and highly adaptable hunters. They are not fussy eaters and are known to prey on a wide variety of species. Our Cape Leopard Trust research teams have conducted numerous studies to try and determine the specific diet of the leopard found in the Western Cape. The main methods to do so is through the studying of leopard kill sites, camera trap data and scat analysis. This method is based on the fact that leopards not only eat the meat but also ingest the bones, quills, claws, nails, teeth and even the horns of some prey species. These remain in the scat because they cannot be digested. By identifying hair and other fragments that remain in the scat, the specific prey species can be identified. Data from these studies have shown that leopard diet in the Western Cape consists mainly of rock hyrax, or as we know it, dussies, small antelope like Klipspringer and Grijsbok, hares, porcupines, and other small rodents. In contrary to popular belief, baboons made up less than 5% of leopard diet. Data between two different research areas also revealed some interesting differences. In the Cedarburg, leopard diet consists mostly of rock hyrax and clipspringer, while in the Boerland, in addition to rock hyrax and clipspringer, porcupines and grijsbok are also a major component of leopard diet. Leopards are often falsely accused and prosecuted for livestock losses, when in fact data has shown that in the Cedarburg less than 5% and in the Boerland less than 1% of leopard diet consists of livestock. It is thus important to note that livestock is not a staple of leopard diet. In summary, leopards in different habitats eat different prey animals depending on what is available. It is therefore important to protect habitat and the prey species in order to protect the leopard. It is clear to see how research plays a vital role and by gaining valuable knowledge about a species, one is better equipped to protect and conserve it. Thank you very much for listening. For more information, please visit our website.